Hello, welcome to part 10. We just, just leave it to me. went pretty well, rescued a bunch of survivors. Just leave it to me. Uh, did forget to drop a save, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Roger. Because we still have some things to do. Also, just, just notice, snap it up, and we have Mark of the Snipers, okay. Antique no. Lover, and Girl Hunting. We'll see what we can get done. I definitely want to get Mark of the Snipers, and of course Girl Hunting, because that's a main story mission. So we're going to grab this bat, go down here, and get another mannequin torso. Probably grab two of them. Chuck this at him. Got another car. Lot to do in the entrance plaza. So we might get girl hunting out the way and then just head on to the entrance plaza. Now let's grab both these mannequin torsos. And we'll try to go as fast as we can. and kick him out the way. Okay, we're gonna go around. We're not gonna go that way. Head and uh, mark girl hunting. Try to stay away from these cultists as much as possible. Uh, let's get up here and grab some food. Got another call. Okay, so we just got to bring some food back to the safe room. We'll come back and do that later. Uh, this machete is almost broken, so we'll drop that. Drop the knife. Let's grab another orange juice and let's get the katana. Okay, we don't have a stomp yet. You can actually use the stomp to avoid fall damage. Pretty useful. I think we're on pretty good timing right now. It looks like it's turning nighttime again. Yeah, zombies are everywhere. Chop this bitch in half. There we go. To the face. Boot to the face. So I actually have some games I'm going to be making videos on. I don't know if I'm going to do commentary on them or not, but I got Helldivers. Um, I haven't played much of it yet, so I'm going to be posting some Helldivers. And also, uh, I've been playing Demon Souls, my first playthrough of it. So I might do a few boss fights even there. Uh, I've played every Souls game but Demon Souls because it's been a PS5 exclusive and I just got a PS5 so but I've been loving it I've been playing God of War um, Spider-Man 2 Death Stranding I love Death Stranding that was the first game I did videos on um, yeah, I love Death Stranding. Not for everyone, but it's for me. I'll, put, I'll sit there and play that game all day. Hey. Quick cutscene, but now we have the Isabel boss fight. This fight can be pretty hard. Guys, she's just all hitbox. Just all hitbox. Like, if you touch that motorcycle moving or not, it hits you. So, kind of just gotta wait for a good opportunity to strike. 
we're gonna pop up here and drink some orange juice. Ooh, he has a crystal. That's okay, I didn't do a lot of damage. Definitely, uh, pretty tough boss fight. Oh, I'm trying to get my mannequin out. Oh, got her. Okay, I gotta get hit in. Just gotta be a little patient with her. She's aimed right at us. She missed. Missed again. And that's a good opportunity for a hit. Right here. Damn. Okay, one or two more hits. Should do it. anyway are you a reporter let go I won't run so let go you're hurting me how much do you already know have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is Santa Cabeza, and how is it connected to all this? The zombies were created by you, not us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking about that guy that took pot shots at us with a sniper rifle, aren't you? Take me to him. No. Not now. He's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. I'll bring him to you once he's recovered. I can persuade him. I'm his little sister, after all. Why should I trust you to bring him to me? The zombies are a message from Carlito. He wanted people to know. Fine. Go. When will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Wait for us in the store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. <sighs> I'm Isabella, by the way. And I promise, I'll come back. Okay, that is case four done. And uh, we have a good amount of time before the next one, so... Let's go ahead and go to Mark of the Sniper. Now we have that motorcycle there, that'll stay there for a while and we'll stop in here because I want to grab this sword because he doesn't love a good sword I think it hits a little harder than the katana but it's slower we'll head on over here actually let's head on back Oops. we're gonna head on back this way As, uh, we gotta go to the entrance plaza. This will take us to Wonderland. Get a nice view of the outside of the mall.
All right, we're back at Wonderland Plaza. <coughs> Sorry. Let me check this bookstore real quick too. Different find that sharp weapons magazine I was looking for. There's hell. What is that one for? Get these zombies out the way. Okay, just a 50% boost in hill, healing items. I mean, we we that's kind of overkill if we carry that. Oh, uh, that one's good for the skateboard. We'll hold on to it. Let's see, um, we'll drop uh, the katana, get her sword. Alright, we gotta head on to the subjective. No. Colorful but unsettling location, that is for sure. Okay, let's stop back here. To find ladies cosmetics. There's blonde hair. Red hair. We're gonna get red hair. Alright, down to the food court. Almost there. Um actually while we're here, this is good. Because we're going to stop and, uh, look at that, <laughs> Frank can clip, kick flip now. Stop and make some, uh, quick stuff. Some speed boots, that's what I like to call them. Alright, boom. Some quick stuff. Some yogurt. And some milk. Okay. Got our two mannequins. Two godsend weapons. And uh, head on to Alfresca Plaza. Okay, I don't see any cultist members. That's interesting. Usually there's a good bit in here. But I ain't complaining. Looks like 72 yards. I can blow his head off clean from here. Can I take a shot, Dad? Getting a headshot from here is no big deal, Jack. Think you can pull it off, Thomas? But Daddy, he ain't no zombie. He's just a man. Thomas! We're doing this to survive. You know that. Using a firearm for self-defense is our God-given right as Americans, Thomas. Come on, Thomas, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him, Thomas! I said shoot him. <laughs> Thomas. Now! What are you waiting for? Do it! And here we have the three snipers. And we have Wayne hiding from them. So we're gonna stop right here because I do want to grab a tux. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. 
I think there's a black one, but if not, I am fine with the white yeah. one. Yeah, we'll grab the white. The white suit. This isn't a tux. Okay. They're right there. We're gonna step in this store. Pop this. Get our mannequin torso out. And beat the shit out of these guys. Come here, Thomas. You're first in line. Oh. Let's get him. He's kind of low. Come here. Okay. No, I just got right. They actually don't do any damage, it seems. You can take a little mannequin torso, Roger. Oh, nice job, Jack. Be a little easier if we had a gun, but we could pick up that sniper, but uh we might do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in here and pop uh our other speed beast. Catch up to Roger, then pick up the sniper and go over to Jack. And this is the last one. This should be super easy. There we go. Psychopath defeated. And we got room for it, so we'll grab another sniper. Sniper would just be a little better if it did more damage to the psychos. And uh, come in here and talk to Wayne. What is this? The woman who didn't make it. Okay, this is Entrance Plaza. This is also, I believe, Entrance Plaza. Yes, okay, so we have a couple survivors who need to rescue here. Okay, so all good, man. They are gone. It's all clear. Top. Okay, uh, this is almost broken, so we'll just you got hand out to him, give him the, if he can even use it, you know, basically just gave him Thor's hammer, surprised he was even able to pick it up. You know what, I believe there's a survivor that doesn't spawn, like, uh, show up and that's in there, like, in here, in this store. Find some boxes. And I believe it's pretty early in the game. You have to get them. So, uh, yeah, that's a little secret survivor. This looks just like the store in Dead Rising 2. That's right by the safe house. Okay, go to the antique shop. Not a chance. Get Floyd. And we'll grab a bottle axe. Floyd's just enjoying his time in the mall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. And I kinda agree with him. Just wants to enjoy the rest of his life here. We just gotta talk him into it. <laughs> oh, wow. I've made better art than this in the can. Come on, you can do it. Man, you see. Okay, we're gonna have to carry Floyd, but we are gonna 
let's grab this. We're going to kind of get them to stay here so they're fine up here because we have one more case today. So we'll just jump on down here. And we have this woman in here. Yes, yes, I'm very sorry. Clear out some of the zombies. Nothing bothering me. She got left behind in the second floor in ladies' flights. Oh, there goes the lights. Awesome. Alright, we gotta go check out ladies' flights so space. Let's go head on to the second floor. I feel like the white's scared because the blood shows up on it really nicely. Oh, she joined me. Okay. Leveled up. Sweet. Okay, where is the ladies? I believe we can check the stores on the map. Let's see. Lady Space. Okay, so it's down here, down this way. I hope she can make it up here. And uh, this will be four survivors. No. Lady Space, here she is. I hear her in there. Get away from me. She might not come. Until she sees her friends, so. Might have to go grab her friend real quick. Uh, if we can get her up these escalators, it won't be too hard. I think she's still down there, stuck in the store. Uh, we're gonna get this zombie on with the queen. Uh, we'll drop this sword. Where'd she go? Okay, she's upstairs. Okay, she went. She actually made it up there by herself. That was pretty surprising to me. Yeah, I'd much rather have the battle axe than the sword, honestly. I feel like the battle axe is one of the best weapons just for the zombies. Has these nice wide swings so you can just really get them out of your way. Okay. Follow me! Let's do the follow me. Take her to Lady Space. Then we all all we gotta do is go down there and Whoa. Okay. Okay, Jill's right here. We were gonna. Ooh, get off me. We dropped her axe. That's fine. I'm just gonna get her up here to her friend. Hold her hand. We're gonna have to carry Floyd, so. And should I stay up there? I think there, uh, one of them's up there running into a wall. Come on. I'll go back that way. No. No. Get the zombie. Oh, no. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Jesus, zombies are so aggressive right now. Okay. Just let them chill right there. Floyd's gonna be slow walking over to it. That's fine, there's no zombies up there, they'll be okay. Head back to Lady Space. I think she's still in here. Yes. Let's go. Reunite them two. Get a picture. 
and Boom, test. look at all that XP. You're so kind. I'm sorry. Break up their reunion. Awesome. Okay, let's escort them back. Go take them by Floyd. Uh, I want to grab another battle axe because I dropped that one over downstairs. Just help chop the zombies out the way. See if they can make it. That looks like they're stuck on something. Let's go get them. Yeah. Follow me. Let's go. Yeah, this way. Meet up with Floyd and Follow Wayne. Me. And uh, we got Ronald's appetite. We can grab some food on the way to Ronald. Let's uh, pick up Floyd. Um, we're gonna drop this bat. Carry him. Follow me. See if we can escort these three survivors with Floyd on our back. Let's uh, give one of them a gun. Okay. Okay, you can't give them weapons. Man, you saved my life. Alright, carry him. Alright, let's head down this because there's no zombies on it. Come on! Follow me! Follow me! A little confused. But they're making it. They know what to do. Come on! Come on! Rachel's a little stuck. He got out. Okay. All right, we're going to go right there and throw a queen. Now Wayne seems to be fighting. Go pick up Floyd. Nice one, Wayne. <laughs> Knock the shit out, man. Jesus. The spiders are kicking my ass, aren't they? All right, let's carry him. I think giving them a weapon makes it to where the zombies are less likely to grab them. Because if a zombie gets close, they just kind of smack them. What are we doing here? Yeah, they are so aggressive. Okay, there's still some cultists. Push them out the way, Joel. Keep spamming Y. Alright, smooth selling. I think... Uh, are there any left behind? No. Alright, we'll clear out these zombies in this room. Oh, uh, let's go get Rachel. And there's some food in these boxes, hopefully, so we can get the Ronald's appetite. Okay, got him some food. A few more zombies. They spawn back, like when, like right when you look away. So. Oop! Get off me, bitch! Alright, send them over there. Uh, Floyd. Floyd's actually moving now. I guess he can kind of move, but sometimes he can't. Come on. I'm over here. All right. Seems to be going well. Okay, we got them all up here. Now they just need to make it up. The obstacle Go. of legends. Okay, one made it up. Two made it up. They're stuck on each other. Three made it up. And four made it up. Awesome. Let's get it.
Glad we could save you, buddy. Alright, let's... You learn anything new on this end? Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. The professor here seems to think that the zombies are a byproduct of these drugs. So you're telling me... what? That somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? They're terrorists! Don't try to explain their... actions with logic! I've analyzed the drug in question, and I've reported my findings to the government! <coughs> that must be what set them off! <coughs> that they... they didn't want to be... <coughs> exposed! <coughs> I've... I've told you everything I know! Now get me out of here! <coughs> Call for help and kill those creeps! <coughs> Got a short little surprise cutscene there. Look at all that XP. Got us straight to level 30. And we got some ramen for Ronald. <laughs> Ronald is always hungry. I love how these survivor rooms just fill up. And there we go. Set him straight. I'll fill you. I get hangry too. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Thank you very much. And that is this part, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>